what's up my nuggets that's not how I normally say it what uh, what's up my nuggets Mr. Phantasmo here is that right I don't know I, I didn't really honestly realize that there was a way I said it until I just said it wrong right there I think I said it wrong I don't know maybe I'm just maybe I'm just hallucinating because this is just like the fifth commentary I've done literally back to back to back to back to back and, um, oh, almost get spawn killed right there. Um, that's actually a, a, I guess a tip that I could give. I know, it's weird giving tips, um, in my videos, but doing well in free-for-all, um, as far as I'm concerned, is a lot about knowing the spawns. And this guy, um, I think that was the guy who threw the grenade, he was just, he just liked to make house up there. And it's also, doing good in free-for-all is knowing when to, uh, hit it and when to quit it, as I like to call it. It's a little terminology I made up. And uh, as you can see, I ran away right there because he was very far away from me, and I'm pretty sure he had an assault rifle, so my MP5 was not going to do any damage to him. So, you know, as you can see in this game, I'm just going to try and, you know, stick to close quarters because that's where my weapon excels over um, other people's weapons. So, um, yeah, now that we have the tip of the day out, or the tip of the month, I don't really give tips ever. Um, but some people do say that they, watching my videos makes them play better, so cool for you guys. I'm glad I could bring you um, some helpful tips, I guess, that I don't even know that I'm giving. But um, anyways, back to the uh, back to the meat of the story. I still have a hair on my tongue. And um, you won't know what I'm talking about unless you watched my previous um, Modern Warfare 2 commentary, which I just recorded, and I talked about having a hair on my tongue. And I meant to get it off before I started this next commentary up, but... I forgot, and now it's just on there. Um, I, and, and the sad part about it is I actually know how it came to be on there. Um, and see, that was a spawn point right there. I just kind of have them memorized. And also, um, hearing in, in Modern Warfare 2 was a lot... You, headphones and, you know, high volume was a lot more, um, you know, useful than in Black Ops. And um, I hope they kind of bring that back in Modern Warfare 3. I hope that they you know, utilize the sound of footsteps more because there's nothing I like more than um, killing the unsuspecting little kid, you know, just playing with his music on or something like that and I can just take advantage. And look at this. This guy, I'm actually pretty sure he just um, disappeared there. Unless unless I missed him, unless I didn't shoot in the right place, but I'm pretty sure he just disappeared. I don't know if he disconnected. I wasn't looking at the, uh, at the uh, scoreboard or kill feed or whatever. Um, but Anyways, back back on to, uh, actually, let's just get back on to, not back onto the main topic of the commentary, because let's face it, in my commentaries there usually isn't a main topic, but, um, this hair on my tongue. Okay, so I was, I was drinking water, um, I think it was in between my, um, third and fourth commentary in a row, and uh, this is like a commentating marathon, I've never done this before, but it's, it's kind of cool just getting to, uh, you know, um, talk to you guys, just, uh, it's like almost been, I don't know, maybe an hour, maybe, probably, probably less than an hour, who, who are we kidding, it's, it's only been like 30 or 40 minutes, but, um, yeah, uh, anyways, I was, I was getting a drink of water because I'm not used to talking this long, um, to myself, I normally talk, but I normally talk in like lower voices and kind of like mumble, because it's creepier and, um, it doesn't require as much vocal power, but when I'm, you know, when I'm commentating, I like to project my voice to you guys, so, um, I was, I was getting, my mouth was getting a little dry, a little parched, and, um, now, every time you say parched, um, or at least every time I say parched, it just makes me thirsty, um, actually, <sighs> sorry, that's totally unprofessional, but I had to do it, every time I say parched, I just, you know, your mouth starts to get, like, cottony, and you just wanted a nice, cool glass of ice cold water and now that I described it to you, you guys probably do want to go get a glass of water so if you want to pause it um, or I'll just wait for you I'll just take like a, a minute break from commentating and just let the gameplay go just kidding you can the power of video is that you can pause it and you can come back to me anytime you want um, you can actually pause it and come back in like five years um, I wouldn't re really recommend that because if you're not confused now you definitely will be confused then although you probably are already confused right now but um yeah, anyways, um, yeah, so back to this hair story, I was getting, uh, so I got a glass of water, and it was fresh, I went, I went and got the fresh glass of water, and I was drinking it, and I was getting down to, like, the last part of it, and for some reason, I could actually see the hair, and it was just, like, a little short, little, maybe, like, a half-inch hair, 
and um, I could see it floating on top of the water. And and normally I don't see hairs in my water. Normally I'll see like a little bit of like I don't know, like a little speck of something. You know, you've seen little pieces of stuff in your water before, and uh, most of you probably just want to just go ahead and grab it out right away. But you know, sometimes I like to just keep it in there because if you drink and you tip up the glass right, it will it will float away from you, and then you can just get all the water except for like a little tiny bit with the junk in it, and then you can just toss that out or pour it out or whatever. Um, I don't know if that makes sense to any of you, but that's what I do sometimes. Um, so I was trying to do that, and um, it actually just decided to go straight into my mouth, and now it's on my tongue somewhere, and I, I'm not quite sure exactly where it is on my tongue, but I know it's somewhere on my tongue. That kind of reminds me of one time... Um, when I was drinking out of, I was, it was like soda out of a styrofoam cup, which was a really long time ago because it was soda and I haven't drank soda in like five years, but, um, I was drinking this, this glass of, or this styrofoam cup with soda in it and it was outside at like a party or a picnic or something and a bug flew into it and it was just, I don't know, it was a decent sized bug, but I was like, and it was swimming and it was swimming in the opposite direction that I was drinking. And at first I was like, Oh, okay. Well, maybe he's just trying to help me out. Maybe he's just trying to let me, you know, drink it, drink the drink the pop, and then when I'm done, I can just like let him go. But then after a while, when I was drinking, I started to be like, okay, maybe I just want to, you know, try and see if I can swallow him. So I kept drinking faster and faster and faster, and then all of a sudden, this bug just decides to give up swimming. I don't know if he was just exhausted or if he just, you know, thought that I deserved it, but he just like completely stopped swimming away and he swam right into the back of my throat and it was just like the weirdest thing cuz I don't know, I could like feel him back there and I was just like coughing and gagging everywhere and it didn't I don't even think he came out. I'm pretty sure I just swallowed that bug. Um that which would be the worst way to go if you were a bug just to get swallowed and then just you know, get those, all those digestive enzymes just digesting your body. That would be slow and painful and gross. But um, now that the video has been over for a minute or so, and I've just ended on a really disturbing note, uh, maybe I should just cut the video here. Does that sound good to you guys? This has been uh, Mr. Phantasmo, and this will be my last video of the night. Um, I'm going to go get this hair off my tongue with a pair of tweezers maybe i don't know i've never done that before maybe you know sometimes you gotta try new things although i don't think that's a worthy i don't know i don't think i'll do that um, but anyways guys i will talk to you later peace nuggets